you know, before we get started here, I just want to take a moment to send my condolences to uh, Joe Gibbs and, and his family. Uh, tragic loss of his son, Coy. Uh, that'll, that'll bring you bring it back and put life in perspective uh, when I heard the news after my press conference yesterday. So I'm, you know, heartbroken over that, but uh, just wanted to give my condolences there. Did you know Coy pretty well? Coy, I knew JD uh, pretty well. And, uh, you know, both of them are great men and just really, really heartbroken for them, for the family. Uh, yeah, Coach, coming out of the game, uh, help Wes hire you with uh, Hennessy and uh, – Yeah, I uh, Matt there. won't be available this week. Uh, we're still looking at it, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to see uh, when we can get him back. Uh, yeah, Felipe, um, I think it'll be tough for Felipe to make it for Thursday. Uh, we'll have to see, you know, when you're on these short weeks, it's not like we'll be able to really crank up full speed tonight or – Tomorrow, right? And um, so you're on a short week, and you know it'd be the same thing with AJ, kind of assessing see where he's at. Uh, Eric Harris, um, but with Felipe, Eric, AJ, we'll just have to see. Uh, Henny, I would definitely not expect him Thursday night. Matt Hennessy. Okay. And, and your IR guys, are they all uh, any any help coming from there? You know, I, I don't. We're not looking uh, this week to take anybody, but uh, it may change next week. You know, so. Arthur, you know, the game played out statistically very similar to the one against Cleveland, very similar to the one against San Francisco. Right. <clears throat> Is it just mistakes in execution that was the difference in this one versus the others? Yeah, I mean, that's usually what happens in those close games. Um, you know, some of those critical downs on both sides of the ball late. You know, we had a chance up, moving the ball, uh, had a decent drive, and, you know, came away with no points. Uh, in those close games, that certainly hurts. You have opportunities there, and, and uh, you know, they have a say in it too. So, I, you know, when you say that, you want to make sure your perspective that the Chargers had a say, and then you get into those, and they get the ball back, and it's tied, and we had a couple opportunities, and they converted. And even as crazy as that fumble was, uh, there's been some crazy things have happened this year. but. Uh, some have broken our way, some haven't, but that's that's the NFL. Uh, when he picked that up, I mean, he's rolling. And then, the, like I said yesterday, I mean, it's hard to explain what the foot you know, happens with the football sometimes. And so, bounce right back to him, and then they hit the play, and then there's you know couldn't stop the clock, and and they hit it. So yeah, there's there's a there's always things that we can do, and we, you look at it, and especially on a short week, you look at it last night, and you know, thankfully we just played Carolina, so you get to. Very familiar with them, but you look at the Cincinnati game, and we gotta we gotta move forward. It's a big game for us Thursday night. Does that help you more make this a, a little bit easier on a short week because of Carolina? Because you saw them like twelve days, days ago. ago. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to be the same thing. You know, they'll have they'll adjust at their plan, and and uh, we'll have to adjust ours as well. And the fact that I'm guessing the fact that they let go of two more position coaches does that alter anything or not really not from our end you know I don't you know I can only speak for us but uh, you know they got a good defensive uh, unit out there they're fast they're aggressive uh, we know it'll be a be a fight Thursday night any good plays for them at quarterback will that uh, give them well, a different look there it'll be a little bit different of a look than PJ or even if they want to bring Sam Darnold obviously we played Sam last year uh, and they, if that's the route they go down, uh, Baker. There's plenty of see what what he did yesterday. Um, seen enough, you know what how they use them offensively, and then if it's PJ, you know that's just what you got to prepare for. And um, like I said, they'll they'll have them ready to go. It's a divisional game. We all know how these things go, and uh, we got to be ready to roll because it's a huge opportunity for us Thursday night. As bad as that felt yesterday, you know you always got to flip, turn the page, uh, even quicker. You know it's. So we'll be on that plane pretty quick here uh, Wednesday. Real, this is probably going to be a little, maybe too broad. I don't know. But how do you feel like Marcus has played for you this year? Enough to be right where we're right in the middle of the race. So uh, there's all of us, you know. I mean, that's the job of the quarterback. You know, when you you win, you probably get too much credit. When you lose, you probably get too much criticism. But that's what you sign up for. So right now, we're right in the middle of this thing. It's uh, 
none of us, it, you know, there's always, it hasn't been perfect for none of us, but well, there's been a lot of progress made. Um, there's been times I thought we've played pretty good offensive football, but uh, didn't, didn't get it done yesterday. But, but right, like I said, if we can find a way to get this one Thursday night, that'll be huge, uh, just where we're at right now in the division. Factor. It, that's that's a very to my broad. I mean, right. That's a very subjective matter. It's, it's going to be about wins and losses and how you play on critical downs and turnover margin, red zone, third down. Uh, you know, like I said, there's always things to improve on. Uh, for the most part, we've been uh, been pretty decent in, in those areas. Uh, obviously, yesterday we we needed to to make one more play in one of those situations, and we didn't. Is he, I mean, his when you signed him. And Free, or in free agency, obviously that was a very hectic seven days. Yeah, what the heck? But when that happens, well, is he giving you what you anticipated he would be considering you had worked with him before? It's just different. I mean, I, you know, not in prediction, you, you sign a guy, you, you try to make sure you work with him to, you know, improve and, you know, how you play an attack and play to the strengths of your team. And I think for the most part, uh, We've done that, uh, and we'll continue to evolve. You know, every game's going to be different. Like yesterday, you know, you felt pretty good the way it started, and you know, certainly the way we ran the football. But we got to find a way to make make more plays, especially down the stretch in a game like that. Sorry. Yeah. When it comes to, to Marcus, with that, you know, you always talk about improving and being in that it's a long season. I understand now the terms are created equal, and they don't all exactly happen the same way, but. Are we at a point where there are certain mistakes you're seeing on film that just shouldn't be happening at this point in the season? Is that fair to say? I mean, again, that's subjective. I mean, think about the plays you, you make that you overcome. Like, there's – gets out of it and extends the play to Algier. I mean, some of these plays that he's made, uh, the play he made last week, you know, pulling the ball, when it, the easier play probably would have been given it to Tyler in that situation. But, you know, he, he takes it and it's like a heat check, you know. Pulls up from the logo on the three-pointer, so to speak. You know, takes it on his own read and, and wins us the game. So, it's give and take there. You know, we've hit some explosives down the field. Obviously, we gotta we gotta continue to work that with him and Kyle, uh, which we will. And so, yeah, I mean, we can play this game all day, but enough to the point where we feel uh, where we're sitting right now. You know, we, this is our best chance to to go in there and and try to uh, win a divisional game and. Be right in the middle of it, and with half a season to go. You mentioned Kyle. Where, where maybe is the? You, you said it a couple times now, yesterday and then today. Where is maybe the disconnect with him and Marcus? There's not a disconnect. I mean, he's, you know, like I said, we've been pretty efficient. The red zone has been trending that way. You know, when you're again, the further the ball travels, there's a, you know, the, you know, statistically, it's not like those aren't high percentage plays, but you know, every player is different. Where you you know what, how much air you need to put on them, they run underneath it or, or whatever. And so, um, like I said we have hit plays to Kyle. We could continue to, to work all you know all of our guys, and I think that's the name of the game every week. Where, where has Marcus improved from the last time you worked him? Where has right he improved? Like, like a, I mean, like, two. <laughs> this question is pretty, pretty vague and very like generic. Like, give me something specific, and I'll, I'll answer it very specific. But if you're getting these like vague, like philosophical questions, like it's going to be painful for everybody over here. Um, just to, you know, everybody's been talking about him, looking at different numbers, and it's like one of eight on forty yards or more, and one of thirteen on thirty, and trying which, which, to on, so, on uh, connecting on the deep passes. Uh, I have a uh, one of eight for, for 40 yards and uh, heard of one 13 for 30 and checking them out. But just the, um, you have the it, mechanic. You have it against like the league average? N no, I haven't put it against the okay. league average yet. But, I, but I'm more interested in the mechanics of uh, getting the timing and the distancing down to, to sure. make I those mean, some plays of them, work. Some of them, again, they're, they're, like I said, the margin of error there. You get moved off the spot, you reset your feet. The angle the guy comes out of it, depending on the covers you're playing. You know, obviously a lot of those, depending on where the safety's at, the trajectory of the ball, and where you need to drive it, you know, the angle at it, guys that can run underneath it, that all that all factors into it. Is it fair to say he may lack in certain physical attributes and talents he makes up for situationally in the game? Is that one of the things about him that you find that is most redeeming? 
Well, he's made some huge plays for us in critical moments. I mean, I think week after week, uh, we've improved in a lot of areas. And um, like I said yesterday, you know, disappointed, uh, you know, as a team that uh, we didn't find a way to finish that game. We certainly had our chances, and, but we didn't. And uh, that's where you got to learn from it. You know, whether you, you, when you look at it, that's why you can't sit there and think you've got the answers if you win and win the game or when you lose it, you got to have perspective. I mean, thankfully, we've won enough that we're right in the middle of this thing and we understand where we're at in our division. And we, the season with eight games to go, it's going to have two more lifetimes. And uh, we just got to make sure we do everything we can to give ourselves a chance to go win, win a division game Thursday night. Tyler Algier, you talked about being like an all-around back. How have you seen his uh, progression, not only from like a rushing standpoint, but also obviously? Yeah, so when you, uh, it's a little bit when you're taking a guy, depending on what they ask him to do in the system he's in in college, um, where you're betting on Tyler is his instinct, really, really intelligent. And so I think a lot of times where guys have what's so hard is the third down protections in the NFL. Not that they don't have, all the different looks you get in the NFL and the speed that you get, a lot of times with rookies, it takes a minute to, to adapt. I think Tyler's certainly made a lot of improvements there, which I think it's hard for young backs because we don't see a ton of young backs in there on third down. I think Tyler's done a nice job there. I think his guy that played other positions in college, you see him in the passing game, his, his awareness, understanding where to settle down in zones. He's got what I call good spatial awareness. I think that helps him. But those are things you've got to make sure when you're talking about in sync with the football staff that you do make projections. But a lot of these are because it's not going to be apples to apples. You're not taking like every offense is a little bit different that you're taking a player from in college and how they fit to what you want to do and what you think you can enhance and what's realistic. And uh, I certainly give Todd a lot of credit. He's uh, he's ahead of where I thought he'd be as a, as a rookie running back, certainly in the protection aspect. Okay. Back again, Murphy. Sure. <laughs> uh, one of the things that it looks like he sometimes does is almost like faints a little bit and has fakes, kind of like a point guard sometimes, to create passing lanes. Is is that? So, am I just seeing things, or is that something that he's? I don't know what you see. Fair. I walked into that. Uh, is that something that that you have seen from him in the past, where he's able to kind of move defenders by? Yeah, I mean, certainly, certainly he, he's got that instinct. I mean, that's how he's been successful in this league and certainly coming out of Oregon. I mean, he's got a great feel and space. Um, so, I, you know, you watch him sometimes when, when he can feel guys, you know, certainly two weeks ago, some of those check downs that he was able to feel to get back to. Um, the play to Algier yesterday, the play to Drake last week, uh, you know, those are some very instinctive plays. You see this matchup with Carolina and things that went well, understanding they get a say and they will adjust and change. Right. It, it, I mean, is it overly tempting to go back to what worked so well just eight days ago? You know, that's, it's always a fine line there. Um, you're so familiar with them. You just played them. You know, they, obviously Al Holcomb calls it a little bit different than they called it last year, but the players and schematically very similar. So it's a very fast defense. I think they close the space in a hurry. So there's some things that you know we, we need to adapt to, and uh, they'll adapt. And then that's what's fun about this about uh, coaching in the NFL is it's good on good every week, regardless of whatever the record shows at that time. We know how these games can start and how they go, but it'll be a challenge because it's a good defensive front and uh, really at all three levels. Just curious, have you ever? Coached against a, a schedule like this, where you played a team in this quick succession before. I can't remember if it was on a Sunday, you know, a week before, and then a Thursday. But I've gone. I've definitely gone. You know, same opponent with one week in between. I can't remember if there's ever been on a Thursday like this. I'd have to go back and look. I don't have the uh, photographic memory that a lot of guys in this league claim they have. So I'd have to go back and look. Coach uh, Foreman was a uh, uh, had one eighteen in the last game and yeah. uh, just um what will that matchup be with the linebackers? At Foreman? Yeah, we got to do a good job. I mean, uh, Foreman does it. He's a physical runner. Uh, he makes that one cut. He gets downhill in a hurry. That's kind of the one he he put his foot in the ground and the one that he scored uh, in the red zone where he, you know 
thought he ran extremely hard. I mean, he's a talented runner. Anything else? I got anything? Yeah, any thoughts on uh, another <laughs> North Carolina lineman being named a head coach today? I just heard about it. Uh, <laughs> like Jeff Saturday, wish him well.